output for this question will be promise 1 and promise 2 and timeout 1 and timeout 2. So this is a call stack as I have explained already. This is a micro task queue and this is a macro task queue and this is the event loop what we have and all. So here whenever JavaScript engine sees this you have set timeout. So it will push this into macro task queue. Set timeout will be pushed into macro task queue. Remember this set timeout will be pushed into macro task queue. That's it. So promise. So promise will be pushed into micro task queue. Promise will be pushed into micro task queue. Now see here. This is set timeout. It will be pushed into macro task queue. Set timeout 2 and set timeout 1. Promise 1. And here there is another promise. So this is promise 2 which will be pushed into micro task queue. Now what happens? Micro task queue will have more priority than macro task queue. So the things which are present in the micro task queue will be pushed into the call stack. So P1 will be pushed, the promise 1 will be pushed, which is here. So it will be executed immediately and promise 1 will be logged into the console. Now P2 will be pushed into the call stack and P2 will be executed immediately. So promise 2 will be logged into the console. Now once everything is completed in the micro task queue, JavaScript will move to the set timeouts which are present in the macro task queue. Now this will be pushed into the call stack and this will be executed immediately. Executed immediately. This is the terminology you need to use. Set timeout 1 will be logged into the console. Now only thing remaining here is set timeout 2 which will be pushed into the call stack and this will be executed immediately. And set timeout 2 will be logged into the console. That's it. Please explain this terminology and use the visual representation if you get a chance. Where can I learn all these practical interview questions and answers? You can get all these interview questions from the link in my bio.